the Christian sacrifice is a spiritual one, while the Jewish sacrifice is a material one. Write that down. The Christian sacrifice is a spiritual one. We live out of our spirits, not of our, of our actions. The Jewish sacrifice is a material one. In other words, they went before the Lord they, with a pigeon, a dove, a heifer, a lamb, whatever. See, it was all done in a material sense. But once Jesus came, he said that we should be living stones offering up spiritual sacrifices. My life is a spiritual sacrifice. It's done every day. Not a material sacrifice, but a spiritual sacrifice. So let me say it again. The Christian sacrifice, number one, is a spiritual one, while the Jewish sacrifice is a material one. Now, when you understand this, then you've got to say, well, what's the difference in the value? The value of the material sacrifice lies in the thing given. That's whatever the value. When he brought a pigeon, a dove, a lamb, a cup. But the value of the spiritual sacrifice consists in the will to give it. Everything is done by will now. According to Jesus, God said, not my will, but thine be done. That was a spiritual sacrifice. That was a living stone. Jesus saying, I'm changing the way we sacrifice. We always sacrifice through things, material things. And we can do that. Don't misunderstand me. But our sacrifices must be spiritual ones. So the value of the material sacrifice lies in the thing given. The value of the spiritual sacrifice consists in the will to give it. People say, why do you tithe? I will to tithe. Why do you give? I will to give. Why do you pray for the sick? I will to pray for the sick. In other words, I don't like sickness because it bothers people and it bothers me. So I'd rather live in health. See, now to live by faith is a spiritual sacrifice. It's not an easy thing because, see, faith doesn't deal it doesn't come out of the physical, but it produces the physical. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. But faith, the unseen, is what produces the seen that we have in our lives. Now, when you understand that, that's a spiritual sacrifice. People say, why do you work so much, brother? Why are you gone all the time? Well, it's a spiritual sacrifice. I am a living stone. And the only Jesus some people may ever see is the Jesus in me or the Jesus in you. So write this down. The value of the material sacrifice lies in the thing given. The value of the spiritual sacrifice consists in the will to give it. See, when the will is given, the battle is already over. See, once your will becomes God's will, you don't struggle spiritually, physically, or financially in anything that you do for the Lord. Because it's all done. That's a spiritual sacrifice. People say, no, I gave my time because that's material. No, but what happened was you had to have the will to give it. So when the will is given, the battle is already over. So, you see, my will was to do the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it doesn't make no difference how tired I get. It doesn't make no difference how much I run or how late I get in at night and how early I got to get up in the morning to come back and do this and do that. Why? Because, see, the will has already been given and the battle's already over. I know what I must do. Why? He said, you are a living stone. You should be living stones offering up spiritual sacrifice. Once your will becomes God's will, you don't struggle spiritually, physically, or financially in anything that you do for the Lord. People say, why do you tithe? I will to tithe. Why do you give? I will to give. Why do you pray for the sick? I will to pray for the sick. My life is a spiritual sacrifice. Order your copy today. 